right guys we on lake murray again today we're going to try to do a video i've got uh, paul frick with me and uh, we're going to try to put some fish in the boat but we're going to do a demo on step by step on how i use planter boards now grant you you can tune them any way that you want to do uh, that best fits you but i'm going to show you how i run six to eight boards and how i deploy them and put my floats and stuff out and and how that I do. So uh, stay with us and I hope this video will help you out. Okay guys, well, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do a little bit of board demonstration here on how I do things. Uh, I know that we're gonna be concentrating on one side of the boat, probably over 30 feet of water, and the other side is gonna be probably in 20 to uh, 15 feet. So uh, that sun's y'all just gonna have to look at me with my glasses on the sun uh it's gonna be messing with me here just for a minute but what i do when i put out my boards is i get everything set and you can turn it but you can see i've got my uh, drift sock out i've got it at the speed that i'm wanting which that is at 0.3 mile an hour okay 0.3 so uh and what i'm gonna do when i put out my first board it's gonna be my father's board from the boat okay and it will always be this rod that's on this first corner right here all right now i know that i'm gonna be fishing in about 20 feet of water so i want about 30 feet of line out and the way that i do it i do not throw out the back of the boat okay don't throw out the back of the boat because when you start throwing all these rods out the back of the boat they're gonna start getting tangled up when they start pulling off the side so throw them out to the side of the boat on all your boards. Now that is for catfish and dragging the bottom. Uh, when you're striper fishing, they probably do it just a little different because they ain't got to worry about all them lines dragging the bottom and tangling up on the bottom. So I throw that line out right there about 30 feet. About 30 feet because what I want, if I'm going to be in 20 foot of water on my outside board, then I want it to be have about 10 foot of slack pulling behind the board on that on a short leash on on that one and also on the outside board you got less resistance on your line coming from your board to your weight down there on uh, when you're pulling on the water current hitting your um, line and it'll pull out faster it'll pull out better <clears throat> Now I want to hook this board up toward the top of the top of the line up here so I keep the length that I want going out the, out the boat. So I'll hook my back of the board first, pull the board up, and these boards is left and right. The the on my boards you got the groove that I've got bent in them where they'll pull out faster. So they will go toward the front of the boat and away from the boat and your rods always goes toward the front of the boat and, and toward the boat so uh, and on these boards here on the ones that I make you want to clip you want to clip the line in behind you got a little nipple in here you want that line in behind your uh, um, nipple and that way it won't pull loose. That way if you break off, you ain't got to chase your board down. You can just put it out there, put a little bit of line up, and let it free spool out to where you want it. And while that one's going out, you can go ahead and do the same thing with your other one. Now this is going to be a little closer in, so I'm going to put a little more line when I cast out, out. And uh, so I'm going to throw this now at about 40 foot, about 10 foot farther. And I've got that now at about 40 feet. And it's the same principle. Now this rod, I will stick up my rod holder to be taller. Like that right there. And it's the same principle on this one. You, you hook this to your line, and this red clip always goes toward your rod tip. And put it in behind that little nipple right there. 
and I'll show you what these look like with this little nipple back GoPro will, will get them there it'll zoom in enough Right there go and uh, I'll show you how they'll spread out here in just a second and uh, this rod right here is gonna be the closest rod we're gonna send it out just a little farther we won't send it out about 50 foot principle this right here always goes toward the boat and we can see where it's off center that always goes toward the front of the boat this goes toward the side of the boat and you're you're on my boards the the uh, thing that I've got where I got to being in the board always goes away from the boat Just like that right there now we've already got one board back here it's already out back there probably 70 feet we are gonna let it go on back about another 20 feet or so then we'll lock it down and we can see it pull out <clears throat> now let me grab a float up here here and I'll just take and I'll throw this back about as far as I can throw it out the back of the boat that's probably about 60 70 feet out there now these are the Patriot James bobbers I've got these right here hooked up just like I, I do on planter boards We lock this rod in right here. That outside board is locked in, and it's out there probably a hundred feet. I'd say it's hundred feet, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's out there about a hundred feet. So we got it pulling. You already see it starting to pull out, and we're still at point three mile an hour. Same deal. You hook up your line clip on your line and put this float in behind the nipple now if you want to suspend and, and suspend fish and you want to drop your weight at a certain certain place in current you hook this in behind the nipple in front of the nipple and when you hook it in front of the nipple after it floats out through there and you get your bait where you want it you can get a rod a snatch and your bait will fall right where you want it to but I don't want that when I'm pulling board so I'm gonna hook it in behind the nipple on that clip because I don't want to have to chase boards now my second board's out and I just locked it down and I'm about eight or ten feet away from my outside board now we're slowing down we're getting all these lines out and just putting resistance so I'm gonna bump it up a little bit Just right here to loosen this little up a little bit. Alright, let's get these right here, start pulling out there just a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting back right. We just just about come to a stop. Okay, now I'm now that I'm gonna let this rod right here. I'm going to let it go back 100 to 120 feet. It's going to get to where you can't even hardly see this Patriot bobber out there. So the farther out it gets, when it gets right, it'll be standing straight up and down like this right here as we'll pull them. 
Now I'm going to throw the other bobber out. Now on these bobbers, I like a lot of line out on them. And I would have to backlash my reel while I'm trying to do this. But if you don't backlash, you ain't fishing. How'd you throw these out? <laughs> I can backlash them too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now this one, I'm only let it. Going to let this barber get out. Of, now I did throw it out a long way, but I'm going to only let the barber get out there about 50, 50 feet or so. About half the distance between this barber and or between the boat and that barber out there i already spooled this line this reel over here there we go it ain't going i already spooled it too tight i think Now you can adjust all this right here for what you, for the application that you are using or want to use or how many planter boards you're using and and all that. Now I just throw this one out about 40 feet so I know I'm going to be in, this side of the boat over here is going to be in about 30 to 35 feet of water. So that's going to be my outside board. <laughs> Same deal. You've got a left hand side and a right hand side. Now grant you, now these boards ain't pretty. These are the ones I do all my experimenting with. The ones that I sell look a whole lot better than this. When you got a QC like your wife, she will she makes you do it right. Either that she'll do it do it herself. So that's gonna be my outside board right there. See how them floats are standing up. This board over here is where I want it. Now it's going to start pulling out. Now we're going to go. We're going to go to the outside board, or the second board from the outside on this one. Same deal on this side. We're going to be in a little deeper water over here, so I'm putting out about 50 foot on that one. We're going to be in about uh, 30 feet of water. Give that about 20 foot out there.
this is going to be the closest one to the boat. And this is probably going to be in about 25 foot of water. And I think I'm out there maybe 30 feet right there. That's where we're going to put that one. So this closer to the boat because we're pulling the river ledges. So I'm going to have boards in the river, up on the ledges and up on the flat. Here, get out. I'm gonna grab another cup of rods right here. While I'm going out, and what I'm using today. Shad. I ain't got no great big baits, but this is how I do my shad when I want to make bigger bait. If I can get it all untangled here. I take whoop. Hang on to it, it's slick. <clears throat> that wave caught me off guard. Alright, I just take and fillet a piece off the side like that right there and let it flat okay i don't hook them in the eyes i come back right behind the eyes and hook them in the head like that right there then i fold this piece down and i just come right back through and i push it up on the shank of the hook like that right there and uh, that's how i bait uh small bait like that right there and try to make it big bait now on my boat running these boards like this uh, we're going to run four boards today out each side so I take boards now I'm on this one is going to be a little shorter I'm just going to throw it out about 20 foot and let it sink and hit the bottom because I'm going to put it in the front of the boat. And that way, when it gets pulled out, when I can't have to reel in a fish from back yonder, I don't have to worry about uh, it getting tangled up in the short, the short board. I'm gonna do is make two pulls on my rod. I'm gonna put about 20 foot of line from my rod to my planer board. Then I'm gonna put it into the front and it's gonna pull out the side of the boat. So we got all of the areas covered with about All the areas covered with, with about a 10 foot spread on them. In between them, five to 10 foot in between the boards and all the lines. Let me get another bait out of here for my bait short.
same thing on this side of the boat. I'm just going to throw it out there about 30 feet and let it sink. Put this little bit of line out. We'll pull out beside the boat. And you have to keep adjusting your speed because uh, more you especially in my boat, the more lines you get out, the more stuff you got dragging and pulling off the back of the boat, it slows you down. About 20 feet or so. All right, let me put this in the front rod holder. picture or film the back now you can see the spread of the boat or the spread of the planer boards on what we got covered so that's that's how we start all right so now now we're going to see if we can put some fish in the boat so uh, stay with us Fish on. It's been a hard day. Fish ain't wanting to bite today. Back up. There you go. I think he's in that other line right there. Right. I seen that board move. No, this is another fish. Yeah, it's been a tough bite today. I don't know what the day, difference is between the day and last week, but we've had a tough bite. And look here. This looks like a blue. This is a Ooh. is in the mud. There's Paul's fish, little old channel cat. I hope we catch more than this, but it ain't looking good. We fished all day long, had a few short bites, and it ain't it ain't been real real good. Catching 30 fish last week to catching one fish this week. So uh, stay with us. And we are in a different location too. We fished where I fished last week, only got one or two bites. Wasn't, wasn't happening. So we changed locations and at least we did pick up one. So stay with us. All right, guys. Well, today ain't been a good one. It ain't like we didn't give it everything we had. We fished deep water, shallow water. So I think they marred up the mud that just wasn't needed. So we got to go chase a planter board down. We've been out here since 7 30 and it's 2 o'clock. We've had enough on one fish. So stay with us for the next one.